hey guys welcome back to my channel on today's video we're gonna be doing some crafting now last week I think it was I showed you guys like a mini envelope tide flip and a lot of you guys asked me to do a tutorial on it and I forgot to do it last week so I am tackling it today and I made this one last night but let me fix the focus real quick because I want to show you guys something I made this tag flip last night using that new Echo Park Fashionista collection and they're just five little envelopes as you can see but the girl that I made this for she's not really into crafting so what I did was instead of putting goodies inside each envelope I put a quote and a, like a positive quote so that she can have this and whenever she's feeling let's say down and out she can just take out a quote and read as like this one it says fearless hope more wine less breathe more talk less say more hate less love more and all good things are yours so you know you guys sometimes we have some really bad days and looking at something pretty sometimes helps even if it's just for a split second so she really enjoys looking at my page and stuff but she's not a crafter so I thought that I'd make her something simple like this that she can keep in her purse. And whenever she's having those little junky days, she can just open up one of these envelopes and read something positive. And at least for the moment, know that there's a chance that things will get better or her day will get better. So let me show you guys the way I decorated her envelopes. And she's definitely a makeup girl. So I had to use this collection on her little book. This says hello gorgeous, a little lipstick, a little bow, and then I just put like a little wood veneer in here for her, some glasses, this says happiness, and this one says gorgeous, I used one of the little, what is it, Planner Society little girls, with the pink bow and the pink boots, this one says fabulous with a little mascara wand. And then this one says make every day count so I made it very positive this one says why fit in when you're born to stand out good vibes only and then the last one says be fierce it's a girl thing so like I said you guys it just has a quote in each little envelope and she can just toss this in her purse and whenever she's having a not so good day she can read one so we're going to be creating something like this but instead of using this shape of envelopes we're going to do the one that i showed you guys on the last uh book that i did i don't have it with me because i did send it away but this is the size it's more of a square shape this one is more of a long a longer envelope so yeah you guys let's make a little envelope flip I don't even know what to call them sometimes it's like a tag flip a little mini envelopes so what you're gonna be needing is a six by six so you're gonna use a six by six I'm using the Webster's pages love story paper pad Oops. so pretty it has like a Maggie Holmes feel definitely had to use this and I have a bunch of stuff you guys on my desk that I just want to like pick from because I want to be able to decorate them with you guys today so it might be a little longer video than normal but it's fun let's decorate I usually only create bases and stuff like that but let's decorate these little envelopes and make this little flip tag flip now I have a bunch of ephemera here that I thought that I might want to use I also have some doilies I have some enamel dots uh, if I want to pull anything out of my little tray here I have that right there I also made my own little reinforcers for the envelopes just so that they can be a little bit more sturdier I have some prep paper here and yeah that's it I have already made 
four of the envelopes as you can see just for not to take up so much time like creating every envelope on film so I did make four of the envelopes but I will be making one with you guys these are double-sided papers so they don't have to be you can use a single sheet but these happen to be double-sided so see, this one is this way so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one I'm, I'm gonna make one envelope with you guys so the one that we're doing is the six by six paper size the envelope is gonna be three and a half by three and a half and we're scoring at three so let me bring my focus back down are we good yes so we're scoring at three I'm sure you guys know how to do this part but I figured I'd do at least one with you guys and I don't know if you guys don't know but I don't edit any of my videos I upload straightforward so I try to keep my content within a short span and straight to the point I don't want to be doing all that editing so I always prep before my videos but that's all you have to do with this one this is our little envelope right here and let me put this away then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold up your envelope what it looks like I'm gonna use the hot glue gun because I ran out of my ATG and I don't feel like ripping my double-sided tape right now okay so now we have all of our envelopes that we're going to decorate You guys see them so let's get started now you guys I love doilies I just I need a doily on all my little envelopes if I can put a doily on anything I would so that's gonna be on practically all my little envelopes so on the first one I have picked out some stuff on the side that I thought I might want to use so I want to use a little mint green one I thought it would be cute right there and these are tiny so it works so I'm gonna just do that down real quick and that takes me right there and then I was thinking maybe something like this and since it has like a Maggie Holmes feel to me, am I even focused? Make sure. Let me see if I can, it's gonna be a little shaky. I'm gonna try to bring you guys a little lower. I think that's a little bit better, right? I think so. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So I was thinking, being that the paper has like a Maggie Holmes feel, that we can put maybe like some layering here, a little Maggie Holmes flower. like something like that and then maybe have like a cute little bird on the top what do you guys think I think that looks cute I like the way that actually looks so we're gonna put down I love layering you guys And another reason that I don't like to edit 
I'm actually gonna put it this way. Another reason that I don't like to edit is because I want you guys to see in real time how fast these projects can be. Oh, I almost forgot to layer the, the little, maybe I shouldn't put them, the little leaf. There you go. I want you guys to see in real time how these projects can get done. It's not like you're seeing, oh yeah, she edited the video, but she's not showing how much actual time she spent creating that. And we're done with this one. Isn't that cute, you guys? See? Look at that. And then you just punch a little hole right there. Oh, this is going to be the... We'll punch it over here. Because... Yeah, you punch a little hole right there. You get your little reinforcer. And you place it down. You lift this up a little bit. And look at that. See that? So now... We're just going to create the next one. So I'm going to put down another little doily on this one. Just makes everything look so delicate. And I love these little tiny ones. They're so cute. And whenever I film videos like this with you guys, I always try to like pull from my stash so that I can be ready instead of having to like wing it I'll already have everything set up oh I like that I'm gonna just put a cute little love word like a little love sticker I'm gonna put that right here see how cute that is and then we're gonna do the same thing make our little hole right here and we're gonna add our little enforcer Are you guys watching the Super Bowl? I'm not a sports person. So I won't be watching. I like Super Bowl food though. I'll make the food. My wife watches a little bit, but she doesn't really like, it's not a necessity for her. But I love the Super Bowl food. So this is our next envelope right here that we're going to be decorating. I'm going to do a little bit of crap paper. I'm going to put some right here. This is my fast way of doing a little crap paper accent. A little cut right there and I have this cute little card that says happy and uh, how cute would it be if I put like maybe a little flower on top and then I'm going to use my because I love the way that looks like the little double staples because they're so tiny. And I'm going to do that right above here. I don't mind 
covering a little bit of the and fast and now we're gonna work on this one this one we're doing a doily as well and then I want to put like this cute little picture right here with like a little ticket on the back and then of course some little Maggie Holmes flowers. Yes, we're definitely doing that. But I'm gonna put the ticket down first. And then we're gonna do a little staple again. I'm going to add this right here in the corner. And that one is done. And I didn't hole punch on this one, so I'll have to add a little hole punch on this one and then add it. On this one as well. And also add the reinforcers. I didn't even know that they had like a reinforcer punch by We Are Memory Keepers. Did you guys know that? I didn't. I saw it last night. And yes, I ordered it. Because I know that these are super easy to make with your little hole. With the, I think it's the, my little circle punch and then the regular hole punch. But why have two tools when you can have one? And it was like super cheap, you guys. It was like $8. So we have those. And then we have one left. And I think I'm going to make it under 20 minutes. Which is perfect. Even though that's way too long for me. But what are you going to do, you guys? We're crafting, right? There's just... Time goes so fast when you're having fun. So when it comes to this one, I want to make it a little simple. I just want to staple... up here and put that there and I'm going to put like this cute little ticket back here with a little vellum so maybe I'll just like staple that as well and put that right there and then I wanted to put like this one right here or I have Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to put this right here. And then I'm going to put this one down. And then I can use one of those... Um, let me do a little hole punch real quick here. I can see it on the frame. I usually don't move my my phone when I'm filming. But I wanted you guys to see a better, a closer angle. I felt like I was too far. And then, I think I want to put one of these Maggie Home Bowls right there. But let's see how it looks.
for you guys. I think I love it. Isn't that cute? Yes, we're going to put it down. Right there. And look, you guys. So I'm going to bring the focus up so you guys can see each envelope. And there's this one. There's this one. And you guys, we can add enamel dots. I can put like a little one here to give a little something extra. Do that. And then we have this one. I we can also add some enamel dots. And we have this one. And we have this one. You guys, I think they turned out so cute. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add it to the ring. We're gonna add it to the little ring right here. And we're all done. So I'm thinking I wanna put them like this and then we could seal them once once you fill them and look you guys how cute is this isn't this so pretty you guys definitely have to try it out super easy super fun obviously it's taken me here 20 minutes because I did it on real time you guys can add little tassels to the ring to make it prettier but that's pretty much how you get this little envelope flip to, you know, get it done. I lost my wording there. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little off. It's a little cloudy. Sorry for all the shakiness and all the moving around. But I was trying to get a good angle for you guys. And, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. You guys are freaking amazing. And I cannot wait to do a giveaway here and on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that. I'm gathering up a bunch of stuff. And yeah, have a great Sunday and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.